this is the scanning lens, so this is this is as far away as I can get here. This is the F23R, which is should be the mid-sagittal section of the eye. So that's the eye of the organ, and then you take a mid-sagittal section. So yeah, you see the pupil right there. So we should be able to hit all of the structures just on this one slide. Okay, you had a couple other options, and those were fine options. <coughs> this one just has everything. All right, so let's get you oriented here. So usually this is a pretty, that structure most people can recognize right away, that big oval structure. Yeah. What is that? A lens. Oops, sorry about that. Just want the light. That's the lens, yes. Okay, and so then we take it out to the left. Okay, I see it. This is, looks like a cavity here. Okay, and we have this structure coming down here. Look at that, and there's that ca cavity continues. And then you have this layer, this structure out here. Okay. So what is what is this structure up here? It's out in front of the eye. Cornea. Yeah, that's the cornea. Good. This up here, some of you are asking me, what's this thing? This is the eyelid. Okay, so this is the eyelid coming down. So we didn't really we didn't focus on the eyelid much, so we're not gonna pay too much attention to that. Okay, so here's the cornea. And we should be able to zoom in out here and see what? What layer is out there? Covers the anterior part of the eye and goes up under the eyelid. Well, what's the anterior part of the eyelid? Somebody said it. Say it again. Who said it over there? No, Not the split. The right? ocular conjunctiva. Yeah, there you go. The ocular conjunctiva. Conjunctiva. Good. Yeah. So there, it is there. I could get even more close, but it's a non-keratinized stratified squamous epithelium. So there's your ocular conjunctiva. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the cornea. All right, and so then this space here, just posterior to the cornea, anterior to the lens. What's this? What's this space called? It's a cavity. Sclera. Anterior. That's the anterior, anterior cavity. Yeah. <coughs> anterior cavity and how about this What's this there it stops in the middle and it continues on the other side that's the iris yeah good this is the iris so it's not super well stained but it is smooth muscle in there and here you can see the brown the pigmentation so those are the pigment cells so this is the iris. This is the bottom part of it, and then up there, there's the rest of the iris. <clears throat> so that's that smooth muscle in where you have the color in your eye. All right, and then there's a space in between where there's no iris. What's that hole? The pupil. That's the pupil. Yeah, that's kind of a tough one to point out on the exam. I have to give you some sort of a hint because it could be could be pointing at the anterior cavity there. It's hard to tell the difference. Okay, what fluid is in the anterior cavity? Yeah, the aqueous humor, aqueous humor, good aqueous humor is in the anterior cavity. So that, back to the um, conjunctiva, it goes here and then it actually loops around, continues, and it's on this inside of the eyelid. So it's that palpebral conjunctiva in there. You can see how it does that right there. All right, so let's move, let's move back a little. All right, so the iris is part of which tunic? Is it part of the outer one, which is the fibrous one, the middle vascular, or is it part of the retina? The vascular. Yeah, it's part of the middle vascular tunic. So the iris is part of the middle vascular tunic. So if you follow it this way, then you come to this structure. This is this structure with those little pokey things. The ciliary body? Yeah, that's the ciliary body. Good, the ciliary body right there. Zoom in on that a little bit. Okay, so ciliary body includes this and this part over here. Sorry, if I can focus. 
focus, but you can see the smooth muscle. These are the ciliary processes. I don't believe that was on your list, but in case you were wondering, it's all part of the same structure here. And then you can't see the suspensory ligaments, but hopefully you saw those on your, your dissection of the cow eye. And those were those little strings, those little ligaments that went and connected to what? What they connected? The lens. To the lens. And actually, that one? No, that looks like that's just a little line of fluid. Okay, so perhaps those are remnants. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Okay, so it'd be connected here, suspensory ligaments. Yeah. So that ciliary body, it has smooth muscle. It changes the shape of the lens, but it also makes aqueous humor. Ciliary body also makes aqueous humor. Okay, so then we continue back from the ciliary body, and we're still part of that middle vascular tunic. And you can see it starts to become, what is it called back here? Choroid. The choroid, yeah. So the iris turns into the ciliary body, which turns into the choroid. And I'm just looking for a decent section that's not totally falling apart. All separated like that. I think there's one, there's some, like some funky artifact right there. Okay, so this is what it should look like, right? All together, not separated sectioning. That falling, separating happens when they section the slides. These, these slides are not, not as expensive and perfect as what you see in your book. Okay, so what's this, what's this called? What's this main the layer? Vascular what's tunic. Layer? You put vascular tunic, that's kind of a little ambiguous. Oh, the Because it includes, vascular tunic also includes the iris and ciliary body. So the most accurate answer is the core. The most specific answer is that's the core, yeah. Yeah, so I guess if I say main layer, maybe I should say main layer. Okay, what's this layer structure? The core. Yeah. Okay, how about, how about this one here? What's this? Sclera. That's sclera? Good. And what's this? Retina. 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 Good. Retina. Core. Sclera. Okay, so it's most of the eye has those three layers. It just changes when you get in the front. Okay, so it's retina, core, sclera. 